Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as always we come before you this morning, as every morning, in the name that we have power, in the name that we have salvation, in the name of under heaven that you have given to all that we should be saved the name above all names the name of our lord and savior jesus christ the only name that we can give you thanks in because this is who you and by you and for you your manifestation of your love towards us has been granted and i thank you dear lord for this love that you have granted unto us because it is abounding forevermore we cannot conceive the love, but yet still you have shown us and we can experience your love. And ultimately we experience your love also by loving one another so that your love may transcend through us, your servants. Dear Lord, I pray as always that there will be no form of hatred, no form of evil found in us. And that your love encompasses us so that through all things, through all situations. And uh, I do mean it that whatever situation, whatever season of life, the love of God in us shall reign. So that we are not um, temperate. We are, should I say temperate? We're not. Our we do not want our love to be contingent on it being received from others but we want to love others regardless as you have shown us this perfect example that you loved us regardless of the state that we were in in the filth that we were in you looked upon us yet still and loved us enough because you have seen every soul that you have created and you have you have laid down your life for us even whilst we were yet sinners dear lord you cannot fathom this it's a wonderful thing and I and I thank you for I thank you for doing this. So this morning I just want to pray for the love of God to be transcended through us. I pray also, dear Lord, for forgiveness, as always, for the things that we have done in this life that is not pleasing unto you. Because it's a it's a real dishonor unto you for that you have done all of this for us because you love us and yet still we do things contrary to what pleases you which doesn't really show that we love you but this morning for all of us who know you we just want to pray that we are able to show the love of Christ one towards another which is what is well pleasing unto you so that we can show that love towards you by doing what you have commanded us to do I thank you, dear Lord. And as always, the tests and trials of life, we have all assurance that you will help us throughout these things. Let us pray for each and every soul, each and every member of your body, that you strengthen us by your Holy Spirit, that you continue to instruct us by your word. No matter what your word says, just cause us to abide in it and be obedient to you, Lord Jesus Christ, and that we are equipping and teaching the youth in this life manner no matter if our children or the children is not pleased with us at the time we know as long as we show them what is right and correct them in righteousness when they're of age they shall appreciate these things and they shall turn unto you the one true god through you by you and for you lord jesus christ and i pray these things in the name that you have given us is the name that I proclaim time and time again, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to the glory of God our Heavenly Father. Amen. Alrighty. So Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. 
Amen. Amen. So, <clears throat> this is the last chapter of Philippians. I was going to read it all, but I encourage you read it all for yourself. All right. I'm going to just speak on these couple verses this morning. And we, we, we as, when I, when I say we, I'm speaking from testimony most of the time or experience or knowledge or something that I've learned along the way. We can tend to get caught up in the cares and the, the runnings of life, right? For example, myself, sometimes you, you think and you're like, all right, we're going to put on this money because we need to do this X and Y and Z. I mean, you're kind of storing up for the future, which is not, don't get me wrong, it's not a sin. It's not, but it's what is the heart position with it, I would say. Right? If you are, if your heart is that you're putting your trust in earthly riches, then it's not, it's not too good. You're, you're, you're on a slippery slope there. Right? But if your heart is that, eh, I want to just be discerning with whatever God has given me so I can bring forth his um good and bountiful mercies and grace to those who I can bring it to through him giving praise back to him then uh, again that that heart position is completely different so you're doing the same thing which is you um store it well storing up should I say um things but as I said the heart position is different one you're putting a trust in the earth the riches and the other one is you are just doing whatever the Lord commands you to do with what you have. You are just a steward of what he has, right? You're not putting, if you have it or you don't have it, you will be content regardless, right? And I can remember one time when the Lord did ask me to do some, some, some things with, yeah, with me. And I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't all joyful, trust me. <laughs> I was... I was being careful for something, right? But as it says here in the scripture, you should be careful for nothing, right? But these things are good lessons. These are things that he's going to use in our lives, our tests and trials to purge us from these things that we we um we gonna we still need to work on, right? He wants to purge us from these things so we can rely solely on him. So we being careful for nothing clearly means without a doubt, we ought to be careful for nothing right even now we pray for each and every one of us that he helps us through these things because trust well when i can talk for myself ever so often it come up when you're kind of lord woo, isn't it? <laughs> well all right but um as it says there but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving so prayer again the scripture always shows us that prayer is something we ought to be doing and this is consulting our lord directly right Asking him of instruction, asking him to lead us, asking us to, him to help us and sustain us. Supplication actually pulled up the definition this morning. It says the action of asking or begging for something earnestly or humbly. That, that That's what we ought to be doing, right? Asking of the Lord, I would do so humbly, earnestly. And it's like begging. And somebody might say, what, Jelani, why do you have to beg God? You beg your 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 earthly boss for a raise, you beg your, your um somebody else for something. Uh, you, you beg a lot of people, right? But well, why not beg God? Like he asks us to ask him. So let us ask him sincerely, earnestly, humbly, as this, the definition here says. Right? And he said, and the peace of God which passes all understanding, right? Because sometimes as I said, you're in that season and you can't see the the, the outcome of it. It doesn't even make sense at times, but the God will give you that peace that you're trusting in him and he knows what he's doing and you just want to be obedient to him, right? And he will give you that peace and keep our hearts and our minds through Christ Jesus, as the word has said here. And it's just one to remember, one that we shot. I haven't read this in a while. But yeah, it's a, it's a good one to refer to and to go back to every time. Or any time, every time and any time we're going through those seasons of life when we ought to be careful for nothing, as the scripture says here. So, yeah, nice 
verse is here this morning anything that you want to share as always drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at eachreach1.org and as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit have a blessed day everyone and god's willing we'll catch up again tomorrow